Hey guys. Okay, so I did my hair with the one upper and I just put it back so that I don't get um, my setting spray in it. I just did my pre-makeup routine. So let's get into it. What are we gonna do today? I think we're gonna go kind of light again just because it's going to be super hot here today. 37 uh, with a high humidity. So yeah, I'm not going outside. It is way too hot. Okay. So I'm going in with BB cream in the shade Honey. Super easy to match you with this. There's only like six choices and they work um, with a variety of uh, shades for that person. So if you want to go online to my website, which is in the description of this video, let me know and I can help you, totally help you go and pick out a makeup look. Okay, so that's the BB cream, and it just kind of gives you this nice dewiness, takes away a little bit of redness, anything that you have going on. Um, I'm going to do just a titch of pressed powder, like I think just a touch. Okay, so I take this big kabuki brush, and I take off most of the product, because <laughs> I really just want the smallest amount on. Okay, so always do your neck. Super important. You guys know how I feel about that. Okay, next up we're going to go with some bronzer. Yesterday we did bronzer, but we didn't do um, contour. So we'll see what we do today. All right, so I'm just kind of bronzing my forehead. Do your nose. I did my cheek areas. You can do down your neck. Even go down like that. It's up to you. Okay, are we going to do some contour? Why not? I like contour, it's fun. I like all of it, you guys know that though. Okay, so I'm gonna contour with another pressed powder. It's in the shade Twill. I put just a little bit on, I swirl and I tap, and then I go underneath my cheekbone, okay? And you stop about two fingers away from your mouth when you're contouring, okay? So don't worry that it's not blended in. We're gonna blend it in as soon as I'm done all of the contour that I wanna do. All right, so now go underneath your neck, down your neck, underneath your jaw, sorry, not your neck. Okay, go along your forehead, and it just adds this really nice kind of color. Uh, you can do your nose if you want to. I like doing my bottom lip to give it a little bit of extra poutiness. Um, then I'm gonna take this big kabuki brush again and I'm gonna blend this all in. If you are doing your nose, let's just say you have a larger nose or a long nose, you squeeze your brush like I did for underneath my lip. You go on either side and along the bottom and then just blend it in. And the advantage of doing this with a pressed powder instead of um, a regular bronzer is that it blends so well because pressed powders are meant to blend. They're a foundation, right? So, all right, let's go with a blush. What do we feel like today? I think I feel seductive today. Okay, so we're gonna do this blush. Take the angled blusher brush Tap it in, swirl, tap, and then just pat it on, just like that, until you get it to where you want it to be. Okay, and check yourself out in the mirror. Make sure it looks good. Now, we're gonna go and do our, try not to throw everything around. We're gonna go in with our cream to powder highlight, which you guys know how much I love. Okay, I'm gonna use my ring finger, and we're just patting it on like this. Okay, and like so. And I'm gonna do just a little bit right there in the inner corners of my eyes with the rose gold lustrous color. Okay, so you guys can see that. It's so pretty, I love it. Then I really like going over it with a powder luminizer, okay? I'm gonna use the shade Iridescent. As you can see, it's kind of this white not kind of, it totally is white, and it's gorgeous, okay? I use it with a really, really soft brush. Now watch this go on. And like so, you're just putting it over where you had that um, 
the cream to powder luminizer. I do it on my Cupid's bow. I do a little bit on my nose. And it's so, so, so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so next up, we're gonna do our eyebrows. All right, you guys know I don't go crazy with my brows. I like them to look very natural. I just wanna fill them in a little bit. I really like the Brow Obsession Palette, which is not available anymore, unfortunately. Um, and I don't think they're bringing it back either. So I did order the uh, brow pencil. I'm just waiting for it to come in. So I just fill in the front of my brows a little bit just because that is where um, I have the least amount of hair, I would say. And then I just bring it right through to the end. Okay, then I turn my brush over, use the spoolie side, and go like that. Okay, same on the other side. So I put my brush into the pomade, and I use both colors with this one. So that's a pomade, and these are the two colors. The other ones are highlighter ones, but I don't like them as much as I like uh, using my powder luminizer highlighters. They're so pretty. I love them. Okay, so you're just kind of filling in the front of your brows. I hope you guys can see this. There's a spider in here, but I figure, normally I don't like spiders. I loved them when I was a kid though. But then I saw the movie Arachnophobia. I threw up and became terrified of spiders ever since. And that was in the first five minutes of that movie. I hated that movie. <laughs> I still hate that movie. Um, so anyways, there's a spider in here, but I figure I'll leave him in here because if he's in here, that means there's bugs in here. And I'd like him to take care of the bugs that are in here. Okay, brows are done. Like I said, you can do this makeup look as much as you want or as little as you want. It's up to you. Um, I did skin masks earlier. I did the perfecting mask, which is like this black detox mask. Um, and then I did the brightening mask, which you leave on for half an hour in a thin layer. I learned I left it on too thick in certain spots and it didn't really dry and pull out everything. So learn from me. But look at how great my skin looks. I mean, I'm 42 and my skin has gotten so much better since I started with Unique, which is, you know, funny. Not everybody can say that. So I've got gold jewelry going on today. So let's see. Let's see what we're going to do. Because I do have, aha, uh -huh. we're going to use a little bit of fanatical here. Okay, so I'm going to take a blending brush. And I'm going to take the shade Pessimistic, which you guys know I love. Okay, that's this shade. It's a matte color. And I'm gonna put it all over my eye, like so. All right, and I hold my brush farther back. All right, now um, I wanna see how this goes on. Oh yeah, that's really pretty actually. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my liner shader brush that's a really good idea to go and swatch it. When you don't use the same colors every day, you don't remember how, like, how do they go on? Are they super dark, like super pigmented? How are they? So I'm gonna go in with my liner shader brush with the shade side, and I'm just gonna go and do my lid here, okay? Like this, and don't worry, we will blend this in, okay, because you can, Guys know how your girl likes to make sure everything's blended in nicely. And, <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing. Okay, wow, that's so pretty. But when I blend it all in, and I think I'm gonna go with the shade Gingerly in our crease. Okay, so let me grab that one. Always the last one, right? Okay, so we're gonna take Gingerly, which is a matte caramel color, and taking the fluffy crease brush, and I'm just going along the crease. And again, you can see that I'm holding my brush farther back, okay? Swirl and tap. I wanna be in control of how much goes on here. And we're swirling. 
Oh, this is gonna look so good. Okay. All right, now you're gonna take your blending brush and just kind of blend those two colors together. Cause you know, I like it to look all melted in together. Um, it just gives it more of a seamless look and totally what I like. And if you look, you can still see my um, cream to powder luminizer there. And this look goes great with brown eyes, which is what I have, but you could totally make it work with any eye color. Okay, now we're gonna take that liner shader brush and we're gonna go back in with the gold fanatical. I'm gonna take the liner this time, okay? And I'm just gonna go and line right above my lash line, okay? just to go and really pop that color. Cause I want it to pop and be gorgeous. All right. Oh yeah, so pretty. And let's put just a little touch, just a little touch of it on the bottom lash. We're not doing much. We're just doing like the first quarter of it and that's it. Okay, that looks so good. And then we're going in with my favorite black eyeliner. I'm sorry, I've yet to go and find a black eyeliner that works as well as this one does. Look at the difference that makes when you go and do your upper waterline. Already, my eye looks much darker, which I wanted. I wanted it to look more brown. Um, and my lashes look darker, okay? So when you do your upper waterline, it'll automatically go on your lower lash line or your lower waterline. So you don't have to do both. Um, I only really do both when I'm going out at nighttime and I want my eyes to be like, bam. You know what I mean? Okay, so setting spray. Just like so, because our eyes are done. We're gonna put on some mascara and you probably already guessed which lip gloss I'm gonna use, Lunar. It's a bronzy one. It's kind of perfect for this look that I'm going with. Oh my gosh, can we talk about that though? Seriously, so gorgeous. All right. And my skin feels so soft and flawless today. All right, there we go. Perfect, there's one with the primer. I recommend the primer. Um, it helps curl your lashes. It helps condition your lashes, which again is super important for me because I wear mascara every day, okay? And it helps make them look more voluminous. Try not to get it on your bottom lashes, but sometimes I can't help it. The bottom ones are getting so long too. Okay, next up, we're going in with our my favorite 4D. And we're just blinking on and swiping on. All right, I'm super excited to get my new Twisted Mascara and give that a try. And I have extra ones, so if anybody is interested, I can mail it out to you. It'll go regular letter mail, so it's like 225 or something to get it shipped out to you without it being in the box. We can send the box with it, but if you don't need the box, who really cares, right? I recycle my boxes right away. Okay, look at the difference though. Like seriously, so beautiful. All right, now we're going in, doing our other eye. There we go. And Try to go and move your wand around so that you're getting all the product, okay? You don't have to just keep swiping with the same spot because there's no gel or fiber on there, right? So this way you're gonna get more of a fuller look, which is, well, that's what I want. <laughs> Holy cow. These lashes are insane. And these are all natural lashes, okay? You guys know I don't do fake lashes. It's not my thing, same thing. I don't go and do, um, uh, I don't do fake lashes. I don't do eyelash curlers. 
So it kind of freaks me out, especially since sometimes I sneeze while I'm doing my mascara. That's the last thing I need. Okay, now we're going in with Lunar Lip Gloss. It's a nice bronzy color. Oh, so pretty. And there we go. That is your look for today. I love it. It's so easy to do and it looks so good. And I can't wait to go and show you guys the pictures afterwards. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me.